going on Ben's gang, it's Ben's checking in here and today I just woke up, it is currently 3.28 uh, Today is going to be a cooking vlog I'm going to be going down up in this kitchen with some Chinese food Some chicken and broccoli and teriyaki sauce Please guys, uh, make sure you subscribe and give me a big old fat ass like on this video if y'all want to see more cooking vlogs also be make, make sure to comment down below to to let me know what y'all want to see anyways guys enough talking let's get right into it so right here i got my pan warming up i'm gonna throw some butter up in here this is that good butter too throw some butter up in there let that warm up alrighty guys so right here i got some broccoli it's frozen uh, i got this from my natural grocery store uh, it's that broccoli, you know, it's already cut up in pieces. Uh, it's pretty good though. A lot of people usually use this for broccoli and cheese, whatever you want to use it for. Now right here I got my diced chicken. It's like chicken fajita. Uh, this stuff's good. I went ahead and cut it up. Uh, it's some sliced up chicken. Man, now I gotta wash my hands. Hold on. Anyways, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the chicken in since the chicken takes longer to cook. We'll put the chicken in first. And then uh, we'll be giving it a good stir evenly that it all, you know, cook out. And then once it's done, like, because this chicken won't take long to cook since it's already pre-cooked. It's already, you know, cooked. That's what I'm saying. It's fajita. Something like fajita. It's not really fajita. It's like grilled chicken. Anyways, long story short, uh, once it cooks, we can cut all these big pieces in half. You know what I mean? Still cooking, guys. Man, this stuff's looking good, you know what I mean? I have it on low so it won't burn. You know, when you're making Chinese, guys, you gotta be real cautious, you know what I mean? Any little wrong thing can mess it up. Let's just put it like that. Gotta get every piece and break it all up. What I mean by we can cut it up now, guys. It's already getting thawed out. But, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> but uh, we can start chopping it all up. We don't, they don't got to be like in dices, but at least you know, chop them down from that level. So, oh crap! It's hard to cook with one hand holding the camera. But y'all get the jig. You know what I mean? Give it another about two minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and throw our broccoli in guys. Since our chicken is nice and warmed up, we can go ahead and throw our broccoli in. Don't be afraid to add a little bit more butter guys. Don't be afraid. Don't have to go all squirty with it, just let that butter flow out. You know what I mean? Scoot this bag, make sure it don't fall. Just kind of give it a little mix. Let the butter steam itself and the steam coming up. The, I mean, let the broccoli steam itself from the chicken and the butter. You know what I mean? It'll take care of itself. Broccoli doesn't take that long to defrost. Kind of give it a little stir and just let the pan do its job. Basically, you know what I mean? You don't want to be moving it around too much. Just kind of fix it to where it, you know it looks like it's cooking. We'll check on that one and we're done. Alrighty guys, the broccoli and all that. See, so you can tell, look, it's starting to melt. <laughs> it's getting all that. It's soaking up all that juice from the chicken. And that's what we want. That's basically what we want. So, still keep turning it, you know what I mean? A few more times. Like I said, I'm gonna be all crazy. Just basically let your broccoli and steam and let the, let the grill, I mean the pan do its job, basically. We're gonna give it one more stir, but for right now we're gonna let it sit for another two minutes. Just keep an eye on it, you know what I mean? And then we'll come back and stir it one more time. It should be ready. Alright guys, we should be able to stir it. Broccoli should be already almost done. So we should be able to stir it. This is gonna be the last time stirring it. You know what I mean? You don't want it to burn now. So we're just giving it a one last stir. 
real light, real light. I know I was going on hardcore right now, but real light, guys. Let the pan do its job. Now, if you got a non-stick pan, I mean, if you got, yeah, if you got a non-stick pan, it's pretty good. But if you got a damn pan that's gonna be sticky, it's gonna be hard because that chicken's gonna be sticky. If you want a pan that's gonna just glide. You know what I mean? Glide. Doesn't that look good? Now, guys, we're gonna add our teriyaki sauce. All right, guys, I got this chile bowl with some teriyaki sauce. It's sweet and salty, so you, my my advice is to you: I would not add no salt at all, since this already is sweet and salty. So, just gonna give it a nice layer. You know what I mean? It's up to you how much you would want. Me, I like a lot of sauce. Like a lot of the sauce. <laughs> We can go ahead and just put that on there like that, but make sure you get an even layer first. And then from here on out, you just give it a stir, man. That's it. There's your chicken teriyaki, teriyaki and broccoli, man. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It smells like soy sauce, and soy sauce always gave me like a smell of like liquor. I don't know if you smell like strong, like there's a certain liquor. It smells strong. Keep in mind, guys, when you're doing this, you want to turn your, your thing on very low because the teriyaki is going to start sticking as you can see. It starts sticking. So you want to do this real fast. Because this is the ending part. So you want to do it real fast, guys. Like, you might go, oh, crazy. Like, ah, oh, because you're not a chef. But just real fast and just kind of keep it like to a minute. You just want to get the sauce soaking, basically. And right, make sure you get an even layer, spread it out. Let it sit. Turn it off and let it sit. Boom, put it to the side. That's it. And there it is, guys. There's the egg rolls I was talking about. Put some egg rolls up in the oven. And there it is. That's homemade right there, man. It doesn't take much. Just teriyaki sauce, uh, frozen broccoli, and some diced chicken. That's it, man. You can make the diced chicken yourself. You can have a cookout, fajitas and all that. Dice up the chicken. Or you can just get the chicken breast, grill it grill for a little bit each side, save it, if you're full, save it, remember you got Chinese tomorrow, just buy a teriyaki sauce, real cheap at H-E-B and all that, uh, let's go ahead and give this a try guys, I know a lot of y'all are wondering, like, yeah, he cut his hair, yeah, I had to cut it, man, it was bothering me, mmm, 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 Man, guys, I'm a chef, bro. I'm a chef. Man. That's one of my dreams, though, to be a chef. Maybe one day I can, I can learn to be a chef. But I learned this on my own. And okay, nobody learns stuff on their own. All right, I looked it up, but I made it, and it tastes good. It tastes just. Why am I gonna go spend like ten bucks on a freaking plate when I can make it at home for cheap? And here's the egg rolls. But uh, guys, remember like this video if you want to see more cooking vlogs with Ben's. Uh, Remember, subscribe if you're new here. Uh, we got a bunch of vlogs, crazy stuff going on. I haven't been vlogging lately due to the fact that I work a lot. But go ahead and just like this video. I'm going to be hopping out of here. Oh, I wanted to show y'all too. That's what I made for me. And you still got some left for your lover or your partner or, you know, your kids or somebody that are hungry, your friend, and want to come over and eat. You got enough, man. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and enjoy my meal. Remember, guys, like this video. Support my channel. And let's just get rolling, man. I love y'all guys. I'll see y'all soon.